this is what you're going to need for your Aborigine paintings. You're going to need paint, temper acrylic, doesn't matter, Q-tips, a tray to put your dirty Q-tips in, um, an outline of a subject. Now, you can use stencils. If you don't have stencils, you can get an outline printed online and you can make your own stencils. And that way you will have them all the time. One way to do it is print out your image and um, cut them out and then laminate them. That is one way and then you have these stencils all the time. Another way is you can trace them onto cardboard and then you have these stencils all the time. Or you can just take a print out and take it from there. If you're going to use a stencil, you're going to lay the stencil out. I'm going to go this way. Okay. You're going to take a pencil or a pen and you're going to trace your stencil. Very slowly. And there we go. Now we have our image. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your paint. I'm going to use red, yellow, green, teal, and black today. You're going to take your Q-tip and you're going to dip it into your paint a little bit. And you're going to just start putting dots all the way around. Getting paint. So your paint is good. Go slow. Very slowly. You can use a paintbrush. Um, it's easier for three to six age to use the Q-tip. So this is why we use a Q-tip. But they're more than welcome to use the end of a paintbrush. Just cannot push really hard on a paintbrush. You gotta go very, very lightly. So like for instance, I'm gonna take a paintbrush. It's gonna be a round. And I'm going to dip it in. But you're going to, and it gives you smaller dots. But you just want to barely touch the paper. Okay, they're going to barely touch the paper. Okay. They push too hard. They push too hard. It's going to go like this, which is okay. I guess. I'm going to stick with the Q-tip. Okay. So then I'm going to come around with red. Now, you can paint your fish salad if you like. I'm going to come around here with the red. So once I get my red on, I think I'm going to take my paintbrush and maybe come around with 
design in my fish. I got a little bit of red in there. So now I have orange. And then what I might do is come around that with some dots. All right, so I might leave my design that way and then I will come around the bottom and I think I'm going to do like a wave. I'm going to go put a little bit of green in there. This is not difficult to do, but it is time consuming. It takes time and patience. So you want to very slowly come around. down with blue again. This green again. So I'm Come up here. I can cover my whole paper with this design because it represents that he it's fishes in water. But I think I'm only gonna oops, I keep dipping in the wrong color. <laughs> all right. So I'm gonna come all the way around. I'm just gonna go every other line, one teal, one green. One teal, one green. And I just hear my bird. He's trying to get my attention. He likes to. Okay, so then what I think I'll do is then I will come up. And maybe so it kind of represents a, the sun in the sky here. I think I'm going to come in with some red. Oops, it's kind of sticking. And then yellow. Kind of talking it this morning. His name is Marley, 
And he's actually, I'm babysitting him for one of the teachers from school from last year. She's traveling. So I'm watching her bird for her. But he likes to talk. All right, so I would keep going with this. I'm gonna stop because I could be here for hours. Um, I would cover this whole thing. I'd probably come back down with some red, maybe a little bit more blue and green at the bottom, but I would cover this whole thing with dots. So then your artwork will look Something like this. This is one used with a paintbrush. This is one used with the um, cotton tips. Q-tips, I mean, Q-tips. And those are the fish. Oh, my fish is upside down. This is a fish. This is the lizard. Cut Q-tip, paintbrush. See the difference? I have a snake, Q-tip, paintbrush. Q-tip, paintbrush. And then this one was done with a paintbrush. Have fun, and I will see you next week.